So I'm giving you a tour of my tape job. So these are the pickleball courts. Sorry for the mess, we're still installing the posts. Oh, cover and alignment. But here is my tape job. It becomes very confusing. You're like, am I on the tennis line? Or am I on the pickleball line? No, this is the tennis line. This is the pickleball line. And then you come this way because you're all confused and you're like, well, wait a second. Is that the tennis line? Or is that the tennis line? No, that's the pickleball line. That's the tennis line. And so what happens in this stuff is uh, the court that you're painting, which in this case is a tennis court, that takes priority. That takes precedence over pickleball, which is why you see pickleball cut out here, but it stops right there because the tennis line takes priority. Again, everywhere you see tennis line takes priority. Tennis line takes priority. Right up there, tennis line doesn't interfere with the pickleball line, so the pickleball line can be completely cut out. And so, that's that. Everything all covered and aligned. And so now, we're coming down to the hoop court, the hoop lines, the hoop tape job. And again, where you see tennis takes priority. Tennis, priority. Now that is the free throw line, and that is the tennis line. So that's my tape job tutorial. And so some people, you got a little bit of a tough call here. So for instance, you see this roughly 18 inches right here, the difference between the free throw line and the baseline. A lot of people either get a four foot overhang or push this hoop out a little bit so that it intersects with the, the baseline and then they don't put basketball lines at all because they say, hey, you got your free throw line there. And so I just kind of put tick marks at the end here. Look at that, I was able to do this entire job without showing one of my guys. Who doesn't like being on camera? So anyway, and these are the pickles we did yesterday, but that was a different, a whole entirely different tape job.